a lot of people complain about how do you find and get the best talent. One of the biggest pains that we have as leaders is really finding the right team members, and most importantly, be able to attract them and keep them. And one of the methodologies we use is top grading by Brad Smart. But if you want a more practical one, is the one that his son wrote called Who by Jeff Smart. Great, great book, strongly recommend it. And he said, there's like really five steps. First one is you need to follow a structure process. And this is something that Brad Smart learned with Jack Welch. Remember Jack Welch was the CEO of General Electric. And he said, I have to hire 30,000 people every, every year all over the world. You need to have a sensitivity to be able to hire the right people. They're like artists to really be able to find the right gem, right? He said, I could not hire 30,000 people and expect that all my people that hire, they're going to have that feeling. I have to build a structured process that will guarantee I'm going to be able to hire great people. He built a very structured process called Top Ready. And Jeff made it a little bit more practical in his book, Who. But first, you have to have a structured process that everyone could follow, like McDonald's, how to build a burger. Any 50-year-old kid could build the same burger. They have a process like building a burger or cooking a burger in McDonald's to hire the right people. And that's a structure process. Then understand who's an A player. Whenever I talk to people, I said, I really need to hire someone. What do you need? I need someone in charge of sales. Okay, let me ask some questions. Are you going to sell B2B, B2C? What's the price? No, I just need someone in sales. No, you have to be very structured on who you need and who's an A player for you. I need someone that knows how to sell programs B2B for companies that have over a thousand employees, blah, 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 in this country. There has to be very specific. You have to have a buyer persona and most important about the buyer persona, the buying process. So you could really identify who's the right person for that, right? Establish who's the A players for that position. Then be able to gather information and people that you could go through the funnel. Typically, you interview two or three people and you choose your least worst. No, you have to have a bench of around 50 people. So you could hire at the growth institute as an example we have a policy you could not start interviewing until you get at least 50 applicants and my team is like i have 20 great applicants no you have to get 50 if not you cannot start and because we build that discipline that they have to get 50 resumes before they're starting their process they are really good in building an amazing process to make sure they get at least 50 applicants and that raises the bar of the applicants and then once you have 50 the probability of you choosing one that is the right where the position is much higher. With the past video, like we talk about the functional load chart in the next five years. You know who you're gonna need in the next five years. You have to be much more strategic of who you hire. The problem is that people, because they're running behind with a strategy, by the time they realize they need someone, they already did it for yesterday. And that's why they hire whoever's in front of them and they make a lot of hiring mistakes. And now they complain they have a lot of drama in their business. If there's one thing that gives you a lot of drama in your operation is having the wrong people in the wrong seats. That will give you a lot of drama. And here, a lot of people say, but it's very expensive to hire a professional. And I was like, if you think it's expensive to hire a professional, wait till you hire an amateur. It's going to be 10 times more expensive. So hire slow, fire fast. So in the top grading course, what we do is we help you first understand your functional orchard, really what seats do you need, then writing an amazing job scorecard. Before you start hiring and looking for people, I want you to be very clear on who you need, why you need them, what KPIs are you going to expect from them, what results, like everything. The more you think and you understand the position, the best. It's going to be much easier to go to market and really be able to say, ah, this person really looks like this. Indeed, I've done this a lot of times that after five or six interviews, there's one that I like. I give them my job scorecard and said, is this you? And they read the job scorecard. And some people said, you're expecting me to do a million dollars of sales a year. I'm never going to do that. Or there are people that read it. It's like, yes, that's me. And when they read it, they feel so identified that they could not think of working for anyone else that is not you. Because they said, you're the only one that really understands. And by the way, it's very interesting. The first time I heard about the top reading process, I was like, people are going to be offended. They're going to be spending 15, 16 hours of hiring process. Once we told people after 15 or 16 hours of process that we're not going to hire them, instead of them being mad and just shouting, off, they said, thank you for how much time you dedicated. I think it's the first time I've seen a company really get to understand me before they hire me or deny me. Thank you for the process. They enjoy and they appreciate 
the investment time. That's what we teach in Top Ready, how to do a process that whoever runs it will guarantee they are the best team members.